Hmm. Once more. What everybody doing? Hmm? <laughs> it's really been an interesting, you know, few days being so very involved in the space the social media space seeing all of you who are here every time so interesting yeah I learned a lot in the past few days but also shared a lot and have had an opportunity to catch up with some people who I haven't spoken to in a while but because we have to share you know we have to make ourselves available and I'm really grateful for the people who have made themselves available over the past few days we should have spoken to my virgin Basie yesterday but we got our times mixed up so hopefully we can talk to him again soon but for now we are waiting on my other brother my little bro who has made such an impression on the world with his music and his art you know a family man himself you know I avid ganja user and advocate like myself so we're just waiting on my brother to join us but in the meantime drop some fire tell me where you're tuning in from if it's morning time for you if it's evening time like for me you know it's getting you know the sun is going down moon is coming up we say my last day <laughs> oh you know <laughs> well no maybe not but definitely we're going to transfer the energy over to the community once you know we have everybody minted make sure that we give that energy there so that we can really serve in the in in a way that is more efficient so everybody go over to open sea and get your medallion collection chalice station medallion yeah be part of the nft collection part of the community that we're building web3 wellness i mean it's not everybody need it but those who need it them know and i know enough of them i just 333 tokens and we just want to make sure that we start off strong we give everybody an opportunity to get on get in on the space we're creating so that we can grow together, share the things you know, share the amazing network that I have at my disposal of wellness professionals. Yeah, I can't wait to share. Woo! Oh! And the first thing we're doing, you know, we have like a, a day retreat that is kind of like an orientation on Sunday where all of the different medallion old holders from all over the world are going to tune in on a Zoom situation, sit in. And have a really interesting series of events to you know share with you on Sunday for those of you who join the community. But if you want to know more about the project, definitely go over to um, Discord. We have most of the information there, and go and check out our Charlie Station at Charlie Station over at Instagram at Charlie Station. Check us out on Twitter, but definitely go to the go to the um, Discord. That's where you can whitelist, and what that means is that we're gonna hold one for you, yeah, hold one for you for make sure you say when drop time come, you get one of the very limited edition, first edition, Genesis edition, Charlie Station medallions, yeah. So we're just waiting for my brother to send me an invite to let me know that he's here. See, I was secretive with our bossy name. <laughs> like yesterday, we called people name and shame when they don't show up. <laughs> ah. So, where are we calling in from? Where are we tuning in from? I see Terry here again. I love how some of every time we go live, you have some people where no matter what they do, them tune in. We really, really appreciate that love. Really appreciate that love. Jam Crypto 21. No respect, my brother. Oh my gosh, I'm waiting to hear from you now. Waiting to hear all of what you're going on with and how we can collaborate. Yeah, other very important people in the crypto space, Jam Crypto 21, doing amazing projects, community building, nation building, same way. Powerful voices that you soon hear more about. And when you're in the Challenge Station community, these are some of the people that we are pulling into, you know, as resources. Big up Chicago, yeah. 
Enough respect. Enough respect. Virgin Islands in the house. Miami in the house. I just love to see when the man them have chef in them name. It's just so awesome. It's just so awesome. <laughs> We're going to bring you on Jam Crypto. We're going to set a special time for you. Now watch nothing. I have a place for the schedule for you today. But you have to link me. Link me. I have a WhatsApp. Come on, bro. Really want to hear from you too. So brother, where you there? Where you there? Where you there, Jams? Where you there? Come in on the thing. Just press the little button with the camera upon it. That means that you, you enjoyed my life. <laughs> oh. I feel like Rita waiting. Alright, so you leave warm warm baby doesn't go North Carolina. I hope cut North Carolina warm to DC bless up. Hi, Chronic. Oh, yeah, made the thing look so. I don't like say, you see me, we're not always here for the people. You know what I'm saying? Always here. Big up Brazil. Yes, we see you. We cannot not see you. Big up Canada. So much love going on to all of you. Oh, my goodness. All right. So, listen up. Jam Crypto, are you ever going to talk to if, if, if the man not really come in and give you a little one to one to you know. But he is definitely somebody we want to hear from in the community. Ooh. Bonjour or bonsoir, Mr. Paris. Welcome, welcome. They say you're going to miss me. Then get an NFT so that you can join the community so you can be a part of the consistent communication. Mm. All right. Steam time. Ooh, that sounds interesting. I wonder what you mean by that. Big up all the chalice lovers. Let me see by show of hands. They have a hand icon. Or by show of waves. Or some kind of show or show of fire. Who steam from morning? Who has used a steam chalice since today? I want to see who has used the steam chalice from today. You notice my hand is not up yet. I don't even get a chance to set up my steamers. I just want to hurry up and finish with this internet world for a moment so I can go. All right, Thomas, big up this. I hope you know what steam, which steam chalice, you know, we're not talking bun in a split. Because I'm sure most of us have, you know, most of us know. All right, Lito. Who are the steamers in the group? Don't smoke at all. Okay, I don't smoke at all either. I steam. <laughs> we don't judge. We don't judge if somebody said them do the thing. That is between them and Jack. Regular chalice. All right, not no wrong. Not no wrong. All right. So who oh, use the herb from money then? We could free up the. We could free up the hands up in the air now. Who has been lifted since this morning? Start already. Big up on yourself. And for all of you who have been lifted already from morning, let me know. Have you been drinking water? Do you drink some jelly water? Or you drink some water? Are you balancing it? Are you drinking some tea? You're rehydrating? Make sure, you know. Make sure. Oh, Merkaba, you're using your steamers. Very good. Very good. Very good. You know, you must feel free to just post your pictures with your chalice on the, on, the, on the thing, you know, and just anybody in the world steaming right now. We name Steam Queen, we're on here. Tag us in the steam and let us share with the world what that experience looks like. Yeah? Ready to share. Send you some charcoal. Okay, so you need to link Steam Team. Them sell charcoal all over the world. But right now, I just want to remind you, we are here, we are tuning in because we are sharing information about our new project that is on the way and that is chalice station the medallion collection an nft project available now for viewing on OpenSea. and at 4 20 jamaica time yeah that is in like six plus hours it's gonna go live on OpenSea. 
and you can go get your medallion and be a part of this community. Why would you be a part of this community? Because we are bringing wellness to Web3. Don't go away now. Stay. It's gonna, where's my virgin? Come on, Jamar, where are you? All right. I get another pill again. Oh my gosh. Meeting starts at 4.20 today on Open Sea. White listing happening right now for the next two hours. Join the Discord. Join at Chali Station Discord to be a part of that, to reserve your medallion so you can be a part of this exclusive Web3 wellness community. If you don't have a chalice, you're going to get not one, but two. You're going to get a traditional steam chalice, coconut chalice, free shipped to you anywhere you are in the world. It comes with coal too, right? And you get that from Steam Team Jamaica, my dearly beloved brother. And you also, in three months' time, when the design is set, you are going to get one of the first full 100% borosilicate glass chalice designed by myself and built by some of the most talented glass blowers on the continent of America. I have customized a particular kochi to make the steaming process very, very efficient. Yeah? One of a guy in kochi. Only I and I have that kochi now, right? It is what I use every day. Even though I have a few different types of chalice, I like my kochi. I think it's perfect. Yeah? come into the chat but yes so you get two chalices you get the traditional and you get the custom janine design full glass chalice yeah two not only do you get your steam chalice but you get access to the community where we're going to be teaching you how to properly breathe and use the steam chalice so it's not just an instrument that you using recreationally it is something you can use sacramentally create your own rituals use it for your healing use it for your lung health as well yeah so the whitelist is open minting starts at 4 20. whitelist is happening right now the whitelist no boss yet yes my brother you reach all right you're going on this something you press the little something okay you're not pressing it you see there's something right there so beside comment we have the plus sign and look like wow what you call it? Camera? Jamar, press that. I'm going to bust you. <laughs> We've been waiting. The people have been waiting. They nearly think it's untrue to tell him. So yes, you get your two chalices. You get access to a wellness community. And you yeah. also get... Alright, I'm going to pause with the gettings. Lift me up, let them see your face, young man. Yo. What's up? How are you doing, bro, bro? I am blessed. Can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. Good. How are you? It is so good to see your face. What has it been? Well, wow, a it long has, time. It has been a long time, man. Trust me. About oh, three years. Yeah. No, man. Oh. Less than three years. Man. Coming wow. up three years. Coming up but, three years. Yeah, but less than less than three Let's true, true, almost oh, there though. We give thanks. Yes, Such a well, big... I'm not on a phone stand, so that's over stand, see? <laughs> I, have, I have all fancy things that I'm in Africa and you're in the West and you don't have a phone stand. Well, I don't, I don't entertain any of those type of stereotypes as it relates to Africa. <laughs> Africa is the future. Good job. Good. You get me? Like Africa is the future, you know. Africa, anyone who's living in Africa right now is blessed and fortunate, to be honest. So, big up to you and the family, and you know what I mean. And all my family, them in Africa, you know, is my dream for forwarding soon. And also a, a, a plan as well, not just a dream, but also a plan for you no know, say, yo, whenever we start taking on the world again, Africa will start, we will start at, at home, which is. You know, Jamaica, Africa. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If we love to hear it, like Jamar, I mean, chronics for as long. Yes, you see, setting a good example with the chalice. Good job. You're in Jamaica now where it's legal, so you can do it on the camera. Let the people see your chalice. Let them see it. Lift it up. That's, ooh, and he's using a glass one too. 
That's right. We like to see it bubbling. Yeah, I just told me now big up no chalice if I know if I know chalice station, chalice. Is it? Chips. And we have special. So we now give out no other free endorsement. No, no. If it's not a if it's not a chalice station, chalice today, it now I get no features. <laughs> Very uh, good. Right. Big up yourself. All right, so I'm really happy that you came online and you know I wanted to ask you some questions because we really haven't spoken since you know the war of the worlds have begun, right? And since oh. a lot of this mess has happened, right? You've Chronix was one of the first people to call me from the music fraternity. And the first words he was like, oh, how the thing go, how the land go over there, right? So many yeah. anytime I hear him, I know it probably must have made this time to come home. You're making plans, so I know you're on the way. But we haven't yeah. spoken about what's happening with technology now. I don't yeah. think we've ever had Discussion about you know technology, cryptocurrency, oh. NFT, all of these oh, no. fancy terms. And all of a sudden, oh, no. everybody terms. It's moving so quickly, evolving so fast. Some people don't even get to turn on their phone properly, and the whole world has changed. I mean, we always knew that money was a temporary thing. Paper money, fiat currency was a temporary thing. Yeah, and we know the world and their systems are declining. It is an unsustainable model that they have built for their economy. So, you know, yeah. the fall of the is an inevitability. But just looking now at how the world is set and these new tools that are being created, yeah? I never ask you off the air because I wanted to just hear from you. Like, how do you feel about these advancements in technology and finance and sovereignty? Yeah, yeah. Well, um, to be honest, is we, shouldn't, we shouldn't look at it as, any different they don't know they look at the internet in the late nineties, you know. Uh it is a shift in global commerce, in uh in finance, um and it is a shift in in just how in human development as well because if you check Africa with like for instance Africa have the the the, the biggest market for, for education in the world because they have the youngest population. So you find that things like payment, transfer of transfer of value becomes crucial to advancing a sector like that. Same thing in Jamaica where you have like most of the people unbanked. Yes, yet we have so much young people going to school, so much people going to work. You see people lining up at the ATMs every 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 last Friday of the month to to get paid and it's it's very you know, and like we, we see people kind of getting stuck in that little uh, overtone between um like overtone between cash and cashless you know um where you know I feel like I'm not sure about I don't want to get caught up in the whole concept of crypto cuz that would be like someone getting caught up in the uh concept of my space um I don't want to get too caught up in the concept of crypto because it is changing and I, I think 10 years from now we won't be using that term as we are using it now. So, but I'm excited to see the blockchain technology and the web tree technology, you know, beginning its course of development officially because I would say You know, man, you're up in the mountains, you know, you have to watch. Don't go. Don't go. Don't go. <laughs> I won't say a word. I just find the right place to put it on. But yes, real facts, real facts. You know, Web3 is in its infancy. So we really have to give thanks that we are paying attention so early because that is a lesson we learned. Those of us who are old enough to remember when Web2 was just coming, remember when one was just initiating, you know, before the internet hit, like on a commercial level or on a ground level where anybody could get it. 
we were in a, it was like a different world when the, before the smartphone, before internet, before social media, it was a different world and there was always fear. There was always the fear at the introduction of a new technology. Yeah. But are we going to, what are we going to use this tool for? So, Jamar, you have to go where, the, where, the, where, the, where we can get the service. We're not seeing you, brother. We're not seeing you. And we need to hear from you. All right. All right. We'll see you now. So the next, the next question now. Um, you remember that time when I was up at the house and we were talking about music. We were talking about what we need and how we need to kind of centralize the music in a way where we take control of it, or rather decent music, so that we can create our own um, our own standards of value. Yeah? Whether it's through creating, you know, something that bypasses these labels and these awards and all of that and just kind of set our own value as artists within the space. Set our own value so that we have more control over how our art is being released and how people get access to it and how we tour and all of these things over the past two years that has been a really really important mission for me chronic soon forward man now watch nothing chronic connection kind of shoddy come on bruv we were in on you <laughs> but yeah while we're waiting on jamar to rejoin us um yeah there was a time when we sat together and we we had to kind of think about how little control we have especially as reggae musicians about you know where it came to our our sovereignty as artists then and what we were being allowed to do within the space and how much permissions we needed to get certain things done within the space so there were many ideas that came to us but when once we started to once we started to yes you reach forward now so yeah you remember the conversation we did have up at the yard out around the forward that yeah. time yeah and it's like i look at web3 as a perfect resolution to that issue and yeah. some of the plans for you know my music as an artist in that space and how I plan to liberate myself from the industry through the use of Web3. Some of those yeah. things are things I can't even utter, but they're things that I know many of us might be thinking about already. I took eight months of research before I even decided that I was going to show how I want, you know, wellness in this space. And I wanted to do yeah. it first as, as we serve first. And then when we look at reggae music in particular, different from any other kind of music that has the potential in the NFT Web3 space, there is so much potential because Jamaica is not just music in isolation. Jamaica is yeah. culture by spirituality, you know, at the root of the music, beyond, you know, the hype of it and us trying to fit into other people's standards and begging award from foreign and all these things like our own creative potential is so untapped and web3 really gives us an opportunity to look into to look ourselves all of these things you know mm -hmm. and why you laugh Real thing. what went on no it's, it's serious no it's serious and, it's serious you know um yeah them say them say i have to take serious thing with joke but it's real thing it's real thing you know for true yeah, yeah. and when you think about the elders you know and how and how taken advantage of they were yes they did not inform themselves as well but it was just a different process they didn't yeah. have same it was a different time it was a different time and, yes. um, yeah it was nobody a was trying a different to time very yeah, happy it was to a take advantage it was a different time i would say and um now that we're in this time we just have to give thanks that is first and foremost, we have to give thanks. And we, we have to, uh, I think for me, after, after making music and all of that, like right during, the, right during when they're, they're, you know, the world is in lockdown and them things, I was making music like every single day because that was kind of how I get to figuring out the whole thing, you know, um, just try to reconnect with music and, 
Um, I remember producing a whole heap of, uh, a whole heap of, of content. Like, you know, I was just making a whole heap of content. Um, I was just like doing all of them thing now, like looking into NFTs and all of them thing, like right the whole time. And um, eventually I did forward to this place where it's like, yo, them things is like secondary to the facts that we have a, we have a heightened art itself. You get me? Like we have to bring art Artists. to the next art itself you know which means that uh, music itself is on a itself itself which means uh, a artist who give themselves the music in 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 opposed to trying to take themselves from it you know, and um, I feel like with Web3 and the internet and what all of that did is an all space reality. You get me, and that will that 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 can become sometimes so attractive where. Now hear me by the way, Sky, if this is a chip in it, that makes no sense. You know? Where are you? All right. So, we, you know, in, in, in the space over there now, right now on the internet, right, it almost is a world by itself because best believe some of the people um, on this, they're not eating good. They have problems. They have problems that they should be attending to more than they should be on the internet. Like, no... Most of it, like me, I one of them. Like right now, we could, we, you know, it's just because, you know, this, this. But that's my point. I'm like, if at some point, we we we, we don't acknowledge within ourselves that yo, we have to increase the level of artistry to a point where it become unquestionable. It, 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 we have to we have to increase the level of self expression to the point where it becomes unquestionable, regardless of the platform that it is on. You know, um, it would be like if someone heard, uh, if someone heard uh, what's going on on Twitter, it's not different than if them hear it on YouTube or if them see the video or how them discover it. Just the, the form that the art takes speaks for itself. You know, when someone hears sun is shining, it don't really matter which platform you hear it on, it is art, genuine unquestionable it- beauty mm-hmm. yeah yeah it, it is you know so i feel like that's that's our security as our that's the internet was supposed to be the liberation for artists like artists were supposed to be freed by the internet you know imagine a space where me and you we could have our own platform and yet here we are on instagram you get me? Where you find that corporations and, and people with financial and political and military force will always find a way how to infiltrate the technologies them first. You get me? And um, uh, because the internet, we could easily have our own Instagram. We could easily have I'll our own up Instagram. I want to say a thing that is particular to us in the diaspora as well. Right? Because yeah. you touched on our crucial thing. We are the source. Africa and her diaspora are the source of most of the creative force in the earth. Creative, not only artistically creative, but literally creative. Yeah. Like, naturally, resource You think creative. so? <laughs> you think so, <laughs> me? <laughs> we are the last to be allowed into these spaces. We are literally prohibited from entering these spaces and so when you see the africans and the diasporans force them way into the space with these incredible innovations you have to understand imagine if we were given the same kind of access as the people who were being protected and promoted by those forces yeah but yeah. what well, i love well, about africa, when- africa africa was like for instance i think two years ago 
I met this company. I don't want to say what them name or whatever. Cause I was it was kind of confidential <laughs> with the the settings where we did inner. But there was this. I was on this virtual forum. Where